So in this video, we're going to cover all the other object placement tools, everything else. Well, not everything else, all the object placement tools inside of the OPCD Blender tool set. Uh, so let's go back into Blender and take a look at this stuff. So these tools, the rest of the tools in here are pretty much self-explanatory. You should be able to really figure them out on your own, but I'll cover them quickly if you maybe don't know what those are. So we expanded the object placement. We already talked about bulkheads. We talked about bridges. We talked, well, we didn't talk about curbs. Let's talk about curbs. Not much to do here, right? So we can add curbs to basically all of our cart paths, okay? The only thing it's gonna add it to though is something that is identified as a cart path if you do all. So let me come over here and I can quickly highlight this cart path. NumPad zero, we'll zoom into it. And let me just give you an idea of what it does. Um, zoom down here, or not zoom, adjust down here. And I'm gonna do add to selected, add curb. And you can see what happens, it gets this little square curb. Keep in mind that it goes on top of the blend. So if you really wanted a blend on your cart pass, I personally don't like blends on my cart pass because they should be a hard line. It's concrete, by the way. Uh, you will lose the blend because it's now underneath there. Um, I'm not a big fan of cart pass, or I'm sorry, curbs all over the entire course. You can, okay, keep in mind when you do this, when you do that, you're going to get this spline path curb object that is created that you see right here. If I go into tab and I go into edit mode, you can actually delete these, okay? Um, it's more of an advanced topic, but you can actually come in and you can start to um, select and you can start to delete parts of those, okay? Uh, so I hit X here. I should be able to delete those out, all right? Um, so next thing here is um, hazard stakes. So you can add hazard stakes to any object. So let me just randomly pick one here. Let me get out of edit mode. Um, select this object here, and I can do hazard stakes, white, eight meters in between. Let me lower that to like two. Let's add hazard stakes to selected. And now I've got some white hazard stakes. So you could put that around water, anything else. I don't know why you would do it around a, a tea box like I just did, but just for illustrative purposes, right? So let's take another th odd thing here to put stuff around for no reason whatsoever. Let's do another tea box. Um, and let's do stakes and ropes on this one. Add stakes and ropes to selected. Um, add that guy. So you can see what happens is this looks like a fence. It is not. Actually, this gets a special material that will look like a rope on it later on. Um, apply modifiers to select it. Uh, I'm not sure what that is, okay? Um, I do know that modifiers happen down here. These are modifiers, array, um, I might have to play with those at some point, but um, I'm assuming the modifiers can do can space these out a little bit more. Um, and usually these are the modifiers down here, uh, but I'm not seeing that. So might have to revisit those or look for an advanced tutorial later on. Uh, or ask in Discord. That's the best way to do it. That's how I get stuff done is ask somebody else. Stairs are very similar to um, bridges in that you're going to highlight a mesh. You're gonna tab into it. You're gonna select uh, two vertices. Let's say these two vertices. Now this is a very bad example because, well, why would you put stairs on a flat area? Well, because it's a tutorial, okay? Um, add stairs and you can see the stairs get added here. Um, stairs are another object, a planted object. So you can see when I highlight that stairs, I have a curve associated with those stairs. And if I go into edit mode in that curb, what can I do? Well, I can grab and lift it up just like I would for um, bridges. And then I can do, let's see here, rotate selected steps. That's because I don't have anything selected here. So tab, tab, go back into the stairs here. And do I have tab into the stairs? No, uh, I can narrow the stairs. I can widen the stairs, rotate selected stairs. Oh. So it is rotating. You can see as it's starting, if I have the stairs selected, I can rotate them and get them to what I would consider like the right angle. And if I go, let's see here. Let's see, move over this way and you can see now I've got those rotated so they look correct. There's no land underneath them and they're magical stairs, you know, stairway to heaven, but 
there are stairs. Uh, raised bed is a very simple way if you want to do some like landscaping. Let's see here, another tea box might work well for this. Let me see here. Uh, let me fly over to another area and find a tea box. Um, Typically, pine straw would be another good one that you might want to do a raised flower bed in. Uh, gosh, we're, oh, let's just do this guy. This isn't. <laughs> this is my driving range. Not necessarily the best example, but I'll highlight it. And let's see, raised bed. I can raise the wall width, wall height, add raised bed. And face select in edit mode. Ah, okay. So I have to go tab into edit mode. Um, control, I can do A to select all, or is it, uh, let's see, select, oh, I got to go into face mode here, uh, and if I do, I can do either select the certain faces that I want, there's lots of different ways, I can do a box select like this, I can hit C and I can do circle select like this, I could hit A, or is it control A, uh, there should be a way, select, I am in edit mode, which is just a click and drag over top. And these are these are covered in the Blender tutorials. I can do circle select by hitting C, going over top of stuff like this. I escape out of circle select. I can hit A and select everything. But once I do that, I have my faces selected. I can set add raised bed. And when that happens, you can see that I get like a little perimeter, which will end up looking like cement inside of Unity once the materials are assigned. And then inside it though, is a new material um, that is assigned here that could be anything you want. And it ends up being called a planter, okay? Um, this whole new object that is created is called a planter. Uh, it comes in handy for like, you can put like flower beds and things in here. I've used it on a couple courses, works pretty well. Um, but that's it for the object placement. So you can uh, play around with those. I suggest you do a couple of these too. Add one of each of these to your course. That way you need to go in Unity. And remember, at the end of the day, this stuff will all get erased when you go back to complete the rest of your course.